Good morning, cultists. In our previous episode, we left things off in the midst of our uh, long-term stability development program, which is just a fancy way of saying vassal management. I mean, it hasn't actually started yet, but we are kind of in the process. We are also in the process of defending our granddaughter. Yeah, she's got some problems, so we need to step in. Thankfully, we can use our holy order, I think, because I didn't raise them up in our previous war, which then bled into this war. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so I think maybe... Uh, why don't you hold off for a sec? And we'll get our holy order. And you guys can march together. Yeah. Uh, why don't you join up here? Sure. And let's get an organizer in here. There we go. Fantastic. And do we have anything that we need to deal with? I forgot to check this in between episodes. Oops. You're Donis. Nope, you're good. Uh, nope, you're good. You can give me some money. Or do I want him to keep that? Mmm. He's not part of the faction, is, she, uh, is he? No. Okay, so I think either we use that to uh, demand a conversion or just take his money. Uh, you know what? I think it's only 50 ducats, so yeah, let's not worry about that right now. And I don't want to rip you off of your money because you might need it. You, however, I will gladly take your money, good sir. And I think that might be about it for now. And who can we ransom? You are... I see... Oh, right, you're not my uh, vassal, so I guess we can ransom her. Sure. Anyone else? This guy is also not my vassal. Vassal of the Abbasids. Interesting. And also not my vassal. Gotcha. You, however, are a vassal of a vassal. Gotcha. And uh, then you... Hmm. I'm assuming he's not very good at his job, so I'll just take your money. Sure. Okay, cool. Now let's resume. Thank you very much. Unless I've forgotten something, which I don't think I have. Maybe? Hopefully not, anyways. Okay, so can we maybe... Um, spend less money? Oh, right, I guess I should maybe dismiss these guys to perhaps spend less money. Oops, my bad. Go home, guys. Ten months? Alright, well, hopefully I won't need them in the next ten months. But I think that just resets after the war is done, right? I think at least. Alright, go for it. Yeah, get in there. Annihilate them. Or maybe go for the army that's sieging them down. Yeah, that's better, I think. Great, so six days. Do we want a better commander? Mayhaps? I'm pretty sure it's going to be a similar outcome regardless. Yeah, I guess, sure. Nice. Can we maybe capture some folks and then ransom them? Gone in the night? I am jarred awake by a hard knock on my door. My grand matriarch, our guard has been found dead and your acquaintance is missing. I clamber out of bed, yelling orders while I pull on my clothes. The search goes on for hours, hours, but it is not until noon that they uncover a signed letter from Chiefess Bugnat. The handwriting is unmistakably hers. Acquaintance, I have left. Acquaintance? Excuse me? I have left to marry the love of my life, your vassal chieftain, um, Abisalam. All I want is to be happy. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Uh, okay? So, I guess she's eloped? Wait, elopement is a crime? Interesting. Does that mean... Oh, 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 I see. So, of course, he will rebel against me. Sure. 
Uh, or we could just pardon him. And then maybe... Yeah, we'll have a hook on him for life. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, I'll take your money now, thanks. <laughs> you too! You have been pardoned. Congratulations. Oh, I can't bring you back into my court. That's fine. Didn't want you anyways. Or did I? No, I don't think I did. Maybe? What? My high shaman? Are you insane? Can I imprison her and then ransom her? For a hundred ducats? Or is that not how it works? Well, let's do it anyways. At the very least, we should be able to uh, grant her um, a pardon. Now, are you still my high shaman? Oh. Okay. Uh, what's happening there? Oh, shit. I can't ransom her. Oh, I can banish you, though. Interesting. Can I grant you a pardon and then banish you? Or would that be considered a... I guess that would be considered not great. Yeah. Okay, then I'm just gonna banish you. Unbelievable. You're meant to be an example to us all. And yet, you have committed the greatest of sins. Oh, what is this? Why hath you given me garbage? Alright, uh, let's go with this guy. Kinda makes sense that he's our high priest, I guess. Did that change from the previous, uh, I think so, right? Can we please capture them all? What? We didn't capture all of them? Unbelievable. Okay, I guess we... Do we want to hold court right now, or should we wait? Um, I guess we might as well hold court now, right? Go for it. Sure. My vassal chieftain Alim takes a turn bending my ear before the assembled court. Glorious liege, give me the honor of maintaining the royal cavalry and looking to your steeds, a responsibility uh, worthy of my talents. I will not let you down, he says, foaming at the mouth. Rage just barely contained. Um, and also, he's a, he's an infirm old man. You want to be the master of the horse? It's making my court jester, you big bitch. I'm assuming he's not going to be very good at it, though. Yeah, no thanks, bud. Open carry. Two of my vassals are pu uh, pushing one another and jostling to reach my throne first. Chieftess Halima bows before me. My lady, murder is a wanton in the city streets through a Kemet. It would be civilizing if we instituted a ban on townspeople bearing arms, at least within city limits. Chieftess Nalissa uh, kicks her out of the way. Safety is each man learning to protect himself. Ban and carry of weaponry will castrate the townspeople. Hmm, weapon bans in cities. Oh, increases uh, control, which I think we desperately need. Or do we want more popular opinion? I will go for... Let's go for, yeah, weapon bans and uh, increasing our control, thanks. Merging of cultural identities. The air is thick with anticipation as my vassal mayor, Radia, approaches me. My lady, I come with grave news, but with a solution to fix this problem. It's become increasingly clear that the Bejas and the Kemeti are becoming more, perhaps even too similar. Too similar? It's paramount that we show them that it's us Kemeti who are the forefront of innovation. Okay, so reduce cultural acceptance, gain prestige, gain stress and opinion, and then every uh, Beja vassal uh, dislikes me. Or something a little bit more uh, low-key. Or, how about no? Good grief, you want me to spend money to like, get people to hate me? I don't need to spend money to do that, I can just open my mouth and boom, fucking people hate me. What are you talking about? Unbelievable. Anyways. Whoa, diligent, finally. My granddaughter uh, Hathor has been impressed with one of my, one of the household champions for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, she has been repeating the warrior's words to herself. Or a card and you can master anything. Uh, generous, patient, or diligent. Let's have you be diligent. I don't think we'll actually be ever ruling as Hothor, but... It's good to know. And we are no longer ill. Fantastic. You know what? I think maybe we should take this opportunity to squeeze out some royal rumbles. 
Uh, I think they might be headed towards our stack here, which is obviously a big no-no. Yeah, I'm a little scared about leaving too few dudes behind, so how about we leave a levy of maybe a little bit over 2,000? I think that should be good. And you guys can just, uh, you know. Hmm. Although, those stacks are bigger. But if we can catch up to them, then I think we should be okay. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. If you can, that is. Or do we want to maybe leave some dudes behind as we go? I guess we might as well, right? Yeah. Sure. Good. And they are sieging down Kanem, which is obviously a big no-no. Absolutely not. Hold on, get there. Leave some dudes behind and move on. Hopefully actually catch up to these dudes. Uh, no, don't, don't lift the siege. Don't lift the siege, it's okay. I'm here to save you. You big bitch. Unbelievable. Why'd you do that? I mean, obviously, I know why he did that, but, um... He shouldn't have done that, is my point. Alright, that's fine. Okay, stack wipe. Nice. Eat that down, and hopefully that should be this war done and dusted. Why'd you die, Theophilia? Why'd you die? Oh well. Wait, my stress is building up pretty high, so... How about we... Oh, that's a lot of stress loss. Let's just call for a hunt. Yeah, I don't think we need to uh, hold a feast just yet. What? Mariana's son is dead? Ah, oh, shit. Alright, well, you know what? I think it's actually perfect because now, um... The, uh, Seshatkamun dynasty will be once again our diplomats. Oh, 100%. Fantastic. Now, we could ransom you for 100 ducats. But I'm assuming... Oh, wait. Really? Okay, so I guess we can just ransom her then. Interesting. Because it doesn't seem like she's adding any war score. Funnily enough. Uh, is she still my prisoner? Yes. Good. Wait, is that a good thing? Hmm. I guess that could be potentially problematic. Uh, be sure to revoke everything that they own, but I'm assuming that the AI is not going to do that because the AI doesn't seem to like doing that for whatever reason. Because you are now imprisoned by her, except for her. I'm assuming that's because I demanded a ransom so she couldn't be transferred or something. I'm hoping that doesn't backfire, but we'll see. And how is this coming along? Nice. Very nice. Yes, despise me, hate me, let it flow through you. Oh, uh, let me let the Holy Order dismiss. You would think it a creature from myth, perhaps a god disguised in animal form. It was the largest wolf I have ever seen. Even after the beast was wounded, the chase lasted half the day. It is still an imposing sight, uh, lying dead before me. It'll be a trophy for my son, husband. Uh, no, I... I know I'm humble, but I would rather take the wolf skull as a court artifact. Skull of the man-eating wolf of E-Star 4. Oh, man. Now that is a legendary cryptid if there ever was one. Okay. Um, I guess we can put it up here. Kind of small, isn't it? I mean, uh, sure. I mean, it's a wolf, not a fucking um, rhinoceros with... Elephantiasis or something, but still. <laughs> Next to our fucking skinned cat. <laughs> Good grief. Anyways, um... Let's see, so you're okay with this for now. I do wish there was a way to maybe get rid of their claims, but so be it. Wait, actually. Your brother. Oh, he has not converted. Obviously a big no-no. Okay, so I think maybe we'll go to war with this guy for his portion of uh, that place. 
I don't imagine it'll be, it'll be a very long war. And then afterwards, we can um, go ahead with the massive rebellion. Yeah. Or do we do this sooner rather than later? Um, He's in fine health. I don't think he'll die in the next year or so. Because I don't expect this war to last very long. Okay, do we do a... Let's do a prestige war. Yeah. And then we can just give everything else away to um, our son. And our truce with this guy is for another... How long? Four years? Really? I guess it hasn't been that long. Alright, cool. And Mahmood has a claim on this, but I don't really care. So I will be going for that, please. Thank you. Um, Am I forgetting something? I've dismissed my holy order, yes? Or rather, they've uh, buggered off. Gotcha. Uh, oh, shit! Right, because we're so disgustingly over our domain limit. Yeah, that has cut down our levies by a metric fuck ton. Which, of course, means that we need to rely on our men-at-arms. Um, hmm, do we want to... I was hoping to save enough money to make the kingdom title and also make the kingdom of, uh, or not the kingdom, but the um, uh, Holy Order building in uh, Swinette. But I think maybe let's hold off on the Holy Order building. Not Holy Order building, so the, sorry, I'm like um, mixing up my uh, words here. Uh, kind of wish I could see a projected amount that this would cost. I mean, I guess I could do some quick mental math, but it's not going to be quick, and it's not going to be very math. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll raise them up by one stack at least. The mangonels, um, I guess we could also afford that, sure. As long as we maintain 500 ducats. But considering how much money we're spending per month because of our... Uh, tax issues at the moment. I think maybe we're good. Go to war with this guy. We won't let the troops replenish because we kind of need to do this ASAP here. Four months? Surely you jest. Please tell me that you're joking. And who's dead? Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, no. Let's go with... Her, sure. Tell me it's not actually four months. Alright, we are back from our hunt. Fantastic. Guys, is it actually four months? You're kidding. How? How has that become a thing? Where it's taking them four months to uh, gather up. That's insane. I'm pretty sure I let some... Okay. Okay. So, not quite four months, but not much better either. And we're still being held up by one champion. What the fuck? Who is this asshole who keeps holding us up? I'm pretty sure I fired the last guy who did this. Which one of you chuckleheads is uh, holding us up right now? Y'all better be in uh, Tawamp. What the hell? Dude. What's the matter with you? Why are you so slow? What are you doing that's taking like 50 million years to uh, get to this place when everyone else has already arrived? Good grief, man. Alright, anyways. Yeah, I guess we can just beeline it towards their capital. I don't know if there's any need for us to... You know what? Let's get our holy order just in case. Sure. And you guys can maybe chase these dudes down to tussle with them, perhaps? Uh, Neferetum... Hmm. I don't want you to be cynical, obviously. Do we want just or temperate? I don't know if Neferetum is necessarily known for his just ways, so let's go for uh, temperance. Sure. Actually, why don't we use our, um, the levy from our... Oh, wait, no, we can only have them... Um, we can't split the stack, can we? No. I see. Well, leave some of the... Onagers behind, at least. What? Where are my onagers? 
Unraised? What? The fuck is going on? What is happening here? Why is this happening to me? You fools. Why do you not have the honors on the uh, backs of our massive uh, swole ass camels? Much better. Although, maybe don't leave uh, both behind. I think that might be a little, uh, a little too much. My goodness. What a pain in the ass. All right, move on, please. Oh, are there two baronies in this place? I see. And you're being attacked again. All right, well, um, yes, I will help you with this. Great. Except I've raised up everything that we have, so I don't know. Oh, okay, I guess we can do that. So how about we raise up our troops here then? I don't know how much unraised we have. Okay, we have about 4,000. So, you know, uh, all in all, not too bad. You want... Whoa! You want to gift me a tapestry? Oh man, thank you! That's so nice! That's so nice! Okay, so, um, let's see. Maybe let's replace uh, this one. Okay, well, unfortunately, it's no longer um, symmetrical, but I will, uh, I will endeavor to hold back the tears. Um, I'm sorry, the tears are not being held back right now. And we've inherited... You know what? What's another drop in the pond, right? Yeah. Move on. 18%. Uh, they appear to be moving towards my territory. And he is, I'm assuming, leading troops, so... Let's, um, let's have these guys go towards the capital and the men-at-arms can go, um, attack the, uh, the, the army. Sure. I think that should be... Peachy. Thank you. And, whoa! Hey, I'm a living legend! Fantastic! Although I think you might need to siege that one down first, do you? Or does it not matter? I guess you don't really take attrition either way. Well, to siege down the capital, the county, you need to siege down both the uh, barony, so sure, go for it. And you guys can maybe go siege that down. What exactly is this? Oh, I see. She's trying to revoke her uh, territory, so she rebelled against her. That's what it is. Gotcha. Man, what's all these, these schemes? Get there a little bit faster, please, if you don't mind. And you guys have siege leaders, so that's good. Oh, I should have left the, uh, onagers, um... Can you guys just drive yourselves? Yeah, we've got the self-driving onagers, thankfully. Or, sorry, mangonels. My bad. Where are their troops? Nowhere to be found, obviously. And you guys can maybe just follow them around. Yes, I realize that I'm disgustingly over my domain limit. What else is new? Thank you. Okay, let's get, uh... I'm assuming I'm not that close to death. Let's get mental resilience. Sure. Alright, so that's been sieged down. Fantastic. Move on to the next county, or the next location. Hopefully we'll um, capture her, or capture his family, but, uh... Hey, 100%. Fantastic. So... Oh, we captured his heir, I see. Oh, uh, no point in that. Thank you. And you guys can go home now. Six months. All right, fine. Sure, sure, sure. And how is this coming along? I'm assuming it is not. Seven months to raise up again? Alright, fine. Because uh, we do need this to be done and over with as quickly as possible. But I'm assuming we only need to siege down their capital, right? Okay, a metalsmith. He wants us to forge something wondrous. Great. 
brooch, a uh, regalia, or a crown. What am I wearing now? Because we could feasibly, you know, go for any of these. But maybe a better crown. Yeah, I think a better crown would be a thing to go for here. You're not going to attack my one dude, are you? Okay, yeah, good, thanks. Because that would have been extremely rude had you actually attacked that one dude. Who was just kind of minding his own business. Who are you? Abisalom. This guy. Maybe it's because he's uh, recently married to his, um, you know, eloped wife. And they're busy uh, fucking on the regs or something. It's possible, right? Possible. 100%. Fantastic. End this war so I can maybe do our other thing. Possession at court. Christina's condition is equally mysterious and frightening. According to High Priest, um, High Priest De Gale, I guess that's his name, Hi, um, middle name Priest and surname De Gale, a dark being inhabits her body and occasionally manifests itself with uncontrollable power. However, the frequency and intensity of these episodes is causing increasing alarm among my devoted uh, courtiers. He fears that the evil presence will take over and spread chaos and death among us. Z uh, Zara sh reassures me that Christina has never been danger dangerous per se, but my courtiers insist that something be done. Don't be afraid, it's a sign of the gods. So she gains prophetic visions. We gain piety, grandeur, and my non-cynical courtiers and guests um, gain opinion of me. I'm assuming my cynical courtiers and guests will not react at all. The power of this holy object will save her. The imposition of your holy finger of Papa Sankura is said to cure any ailment. Oh, interesting. So, we don't get the grandeur. Um, but at least the... Uh, everyone gains opinion of me. Or do you know of any herbs that will maybe help her? Successful treatment of possession. Small health boost. Or grandeur. And everyone gains opinion, opinion of me. I guess the only difference is really the prophetic visions, plus the piety. Uh, let's just try to help her with herbs. Because the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians were actually um, pretty well versed in um, treatment of uh, mental uh, diseases and whatnot. Well, I wouldn't say well versed, but they were at least uh, aware that they were, um, that they were problems that could be dealt with rather than the old medieval way of just completely, uh, you know, not giving a fuck and then just putting everyone in uh, dungeons and hoping that they fuck off and die or something. Which, you know, not really a great way to treat mental illnesses, but... I see. Okay. Well, I was actually hoping to maybe... Uh... Wait for this war to be done before I did this, but so be it, I guess. Man, not really the best time right now. Shit. But oh well, let's do it. Okay, so if I were to raise up my troops at around here, how long would that take? Actually that long, or are you lying to me, game? I'm assuming you're lying to me, but, uh, oh. Alright, it might actually be that long. Maybe our Holy Order can... Oh, no, they are also part of this, I think. Unbelievable. You could have waited a few days. Just a few days, and I would have been able to raise up my uh, troops proper. But no. Bunch of bastards. Alright, get back into our territory. And, uh, hopefully we'll get dismissed, and then we will, I think, just raise up everyone that we have, and split them accordingly. But this might take a little while, unfortunately. Man, that's stupid. Alright, other stack. You guys good? Cool. 19 months. Tell me you jest. A troubling translation. As I step over the threshold to my courtier's uh, Zara's office, I find her bent deeply over a book. This translation of Galen is atrocious, she says with a sigh. If I were to follow these instructions, I'm as likely to cure my patient as I am to outright kill them. Okay, well, I will, um, 
take a look and increase your learning. Nice. Very nice. And you have finished uh, promoting the culture. Great. So I guess that's actually the Egyptian culture gone now. Interesting. All right. Well, yeah. Why don't you um, collect taxes? Because we are desperately in need of going back into the uh, queen here. Do I want to... Hmm... Let's, you know, just dedicate it to Wepowet. There we go. Alright, so I think we might have enough to deal with this. Um, you are the... Who's the one that started the Independence War? He's the war leader. Gotcha, so we need to go after his shit first. For sure. Okay. And in the meantime, I guess we might as well try to raise up all of our... The rest of our dudes, too. And Fatima is dead, unfortunately. Oh well. I guess it's kind of at that, uh, we're kind of at that age where all of our friends are dying and shit. Um, okay. Well, how about I introduce you to being recruited and uh, owing me a Wookiee life debt. That's right. You now owe me a Wookiee life debt and I'll be cashing in right now. Boom. Thank you. Thank you very much. How many unraised do we have? Okay, about, like, close to 4,000, so not a small amount. And let's have you be humble, yes. I guess we should maybe go fight their troops off first, shouldn't we? Yeah. In there. And I'm no longer as stressed. Uh, I think with the number of dudes that we have, we should be fine. Sure. Really? Oh, right. I guess our onagers didn't get raised up again. Hmm. Maybe that should be enough. And you guys can maybe start to siege their capital. Alright, that's great. Oh, uh, you know what I should do, though? Is actually... Unless I want more... I guess I could also have these things uh, rise up, too. So I'm not gonna give away these holdings. Because I was considering actually giving away these holdings um, to Imhotep right now. So that I wouldn't be so disgustingly over my domain limit. But seeing this, I kind of want this to uh, fire off as well. So that we might as well get the rest of them. Because not every one of our um, non cushitic vassals have uh, risen up. Um, Garden Stag or Impromptu Venison Feast? Let's do Garden Stag. I think that sounds pretty cool. Alright, so you've sieged down Mecha. And I've become obese. Unfortunate. What if I were to lead troops over here? Maybe that'll help a little bit, at least. No, they're fucking off! Ah, uh, unbelievable! Get back here, you son of a bitch! Man, people really wanna... Spo what? Knef, no! Shit, he's dead! Can I get an alliance with you? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. I was kinda worried for a second there. And you sure... Okay. Well, I guess we'll try to take this back. Um, and they are... I see. Are they looking to attack us? My antiquarian Dahab approaches me, holding my Ali's warhammer in my hands, or in his hands. Malij, uh, while I was cleaning the armory, I noticed that this here weapon has rusted away to almost nothing. What should we do with it? I looked the weapon over. Well, while no amount of reforging could ever make it battle-worthy again, it would be possible to clean it up and preserve it for display at only a marginal cost. Whoa, converted into a court artifact. Interesting. Uh, I don't know if I want to right now, though, so thanks. Yeah, I'll just opt not to. If that's okay with you. Hmm... They would be getting a pretty hefty defense. Flexible leader wouldn't really help too much, but we're kind of already committed to this terrible idea, so go for it, I guess. Alright, let's get um, Know Thyself. I don't know if I'll actually get healthy right now, though, because um, I was thinking that maybe we shouldn't try to uh, enlarge our health too much, so to speak. That way, we can perhaps uh, opt to die when we kind of need to, if that makes any sense. Alright. 
Um, I'm hoping that these stacks will be okay. Why don't you guys start marching in there? Because we might need reinforcements like ASAP. Depending on how the uh, fighting goes. Hmm. No, don't. Don't mess around with it. Okay. Well, looks like this fighting is going actually pretty well. Knock on wood. 100%. Motherfuckers. Haha! <laughs> Holy shit! Nice! Very nice. Even prison them all. Great. And this is also going to fire off in six months. Fantastic. Alright, well, uh, let's actually end the episode off here for now. Um, in between episodes, I will of course uh, revoke as many uh, holdings as we can. I'll try to be somewhat more strategic about it. And try to take the uh, best ones of the people who have multiple holdings. Wait. Okay. For a second, I thought he wasn't uh, part of that list. Oh, I guess he's not a part of that list. He's just in here now. I see. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And maybe we can, um, you know, keep being over the domain limit for a little bit until we can uh, get these guys to uh, get pissed off enough to rise up. We'll deal with them, and then hopefully that'll be... Basically, I think the entire Kingdom of Arabia, um, like, squared away. Yeah. And you're still doing well? Fantastic. And Pata has come of age. Unfortunate. Oh, well, that's fine. Not really my problem, I guess. All right. Um, so I think in our next episode, after we deal with that, we will hopefully be able to um, get the Dynasty of Many Crowns. We just need one more kingdom. And that's it. I think it'll be good. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.